people who are ambitious, who are accomplished, and who have their own, who are also ready to get back out into the dating world, who want to be in a relationship, and who have found the courage to put their hearts back on the line after being hurt in the past. These are the type of men that I want you to stay away from and to steer clear of. Number one, any man who talks to you about submitting submission and why he wants a woman to submit to him. While I personally find nothing wrong with submitting in the confines of a healthy relationship, in the early stages of dating, if this is the conversation that he is having with you, what he really is saying is that I want a woman that I can control. He's saying, I want a woman who I can give bare minimum behavior to who's not going to hold me accountable. The second is men who are not willing to financially provide and who talk about going 50-50 and wanting you to be equal to them in the relationship. Why is this dangerous? Because in building a relationship, you're also thinking about building a family, having children. And in those instances, you want to know that you have a man who's going to be able to pull his weight and go the extra mile when you're pregnant, when you're taking off work, when you're nursing, when you are being in your motherhood or just being in those places and spaces where you need a break. These types of men are afraid of Black women in their joy and feed off of Black women in their suffering. Avoid them at all costs. This is a message to black. I didn't know if a man is saying he wants to submit a woman, he's should be avoided. I thought women want to, I, I don't get it. Two type of black men to um, black, well, two type of. Okay. Two type of man, black women should avoid. I don't know why I kept saying that two type of black men that um, women should avoid, but I don't know why submit um, sub, being submitted. Um, should be looked at a bad thing because if she's um submissive is a good thing is that is did it change did the word submissive change because i figure if i could understand the 50 50 thing but i believe the 50 50 thing is towards the women will push that more because they want to be equal to the man to say you know but i the 50 50 thing is always confusing because women will say we want to be equal but they don't want that. They'll say God don't do. I, I, I don't I don't like to argue for the 50-50 thing because I never understand it. And I'm not going to sit here and act like I understand it. It doesn't make sense to me. The 50-50 thing doesn't make sense to me. And I never try to understand it. Everybody got their own way of doing this 50-50 thing, how they work it. How, I, I'm not part of that. I don't say that. But I never want to speak too much on it because I really don't know how it works. When I ask guys, everybody speak on it differently. So I never know if it's really 50-50 or 60-40. I never know, so I don't want to speak on that. But being submissive, ladies, if you're running away from guys that said be submissive, I'll first conversation because I tell a woman, if you're going to follow my lead, you got to be submissive. You got to be feminine. You got to be docile. Like You got to be like negotiable. <laughs> You gotta be teachable. Like I don't want you being loud and combative. Like I don't want them problems. And if you don't like when I say that, you can leave. Like I'm not gonna be mad at you. I don't want to hold you hostage or make you feel uncomfortable. You can go ahead and go. But I don't know why she'll say those are the type of black men to avoid. I really don't know why she'll say those are the type of black men to avoid. I don't think that'll be the type of black man to actually go towards if he's gonna be actually talking the way he's talking and actually serious about it. The other day I had a gentleman say to me that I am teaching black women to be gold diggers. And he was quite upset at the fact that in my coaching, I teach my clients. And when I'm here talking to you, I teach you to live a self-centered life where you're at the center and you put yourself first. And what I realized that his upset is, number one, that weak men are afraid and offended by women reclaiming their personal power, taking care of themselves, and no longer self-sacrificing but self-centering. And that there is some truth to the fact that I actually am teaching Black women to be more like gold diggers. Because the gold digger mindset is one that is about centering your needs, centering your wants, centering yourself in the dynamic of your life and in your relationship path. It's about being strategic. It is about knowing that there are transactions taking place early on in the beginning part of the relationship and being upfront about what it is that you are looking to gain in the process. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? Now, I'm not saying that you want to date men just for money or that you want to take anyone's money from them. But what I am saying 
is that you get to put your wants and your needs at the center of it all. You get to be upfront in your dating and in your relationship life and in your conversations about what it is you are looking to create, what is going to best benefit you as a woman and the lifestyle that you want to create for yourself. And for Black women especially, living well, living in luxury, having emotionally healthy relationships is all an act of freedom and rebellion because we've always been taught that if we want to be good women, we need to self-sacrifice. We need to put the needs of others before us. We need to give ourselves away to the point of exhaustion. And our emotional overwhelm, mental burnout, and physical diseases are the result of that. So it is time that you center yourself. It is time that you adopt a gold digger mindset. You should want what you want and be able to show up in life asking for it in position to receive it. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, I, <clears throat> I believe she is teaching black women how to be gold diggers. Any woman that tell you to be a, technically a gold digger, be a gold digger, just you no know, chasing man with money. But that's, I believe a lot of women do that though. I don't think it's just black women. I believe a lot of women do that though. But it's this self-centering. I'm gonna go into another video about this, but it's like this self. I'm trying to figure out when do women start saying this self-centering thing? It just is always said nowadays. Like women keep saying, I'm self-centering, I'm gonna be focused on myself, I'm focused on myself. I believe that's why a lot of women lose relationships. If if you ever look at women when they're how they leave relationship, it's always the most pettiest reasons. Is always the most pettiest reasons. Like, it's never like a real reason. You'd be like, okay, she had a real reason to leave that relationship. You know, and, and here's the funny thing. If she was, I want to I wanna say, this. guys, if you talk to women, the relationship that had domestic, crazy stuff happening, toxic nature, those relationships last longer than the financially stable, emotionally stable relationships. They leave them relationships like this in a heartbeat for dumb reasons. I, I feel like my needs wasn't met. I feel like I wasn't getting, I, I, I lost myself in it. I, I just, I wasn't happy. I, I wanted to just focus on me. I got to find myself and stuff like that. But when she's with that crazy guy, they, they, they're together for a long period of time and they, they're off and on, they're working it out, they're trying to build. She's, you know, she's saying that this is, you know, he's the one for me and stuff like that. And it's the the whole conversation is like, because I'm talking about, she said this whole thing is like she's teaching me to be gold diggers and then it's self-centering thing. When I, when the self-centering thing kind of confused me because I'd be looking at women and I'd be trying to figure out like, when y'all focus on yourself, that's how y'all lose relationships. Because y'all don't, y'all, y'all already can't pick good. Y'all can't pick good to save y'all lives. Y'all can't pick good to save y'all lives. We understand that. But it's also how y'all leave relationships. Women leave relationships like they drink water. It's like an everyday thing. They're leaving relationships every single day. And it, it just don't make sense to me because it's like the dumbest reasons that they're leaving relationships because of this self-centering. And I'm always saying that, you know, like it, they don't take relationships serious, but they always want to advertise. I want a relationship. I want a good man. But, you know, y'all don't even take it serious. She's talking about she might teach y'all how to be gold diggers. And then at the same time, she's talking about self-centering. And I be trying to figure out, like, I believe women are already too self-centered. The other girl that was talking about some, she's 30-something and she's living her best life traveling, worrying about her dog and stuff like that. Talking about she's going to have kids later in her life. She's in her 30s. What is the later in your life? Like, what is the later in your life? So I really don't understand this self-centering because none of the stuff they say makes sense to me no more. Because later in my life, what is later? I'm self-centering and stuff like that. Imagine a man, like, they, they was complaining about guys. Oh, guys worry about themselves. They don't worry about the women and stuff like that. And these women, instead of saying that, you know, let's find guys that actually worry about the relationship, they say, let's become like the people that we hate. Let's become self-centered and stuff like that. Focus on ourselves and stuff like that. How does that help your relationship or build better? It, the dumbest logics. The dumbest logics. But, you know, like, I'm, maybe I'm the crazy one. But it just, it don't make sense to me, guys. Like, 
they don't really try to pick the best characteristics to go into relationship with. Women pick the most dumbest logics and snatch it up and be like, we're going to use this to go into relationship and then wonder why they fell in relationships. And they always have these crazy dating coaches like this that give them insane ideas and they think that, oh, yeah, this is going to work for us. Knowing that these, I, I don't know, man. It don't make no sense. Like, I, I really be trying to wonder how does women sit here and listen to it and not think it's weird that these ideas don't make no sense. Like, if the guy was doing it and you hated it, why would you copy what he do? Just to go take it to another relationship. Like, why, why would you copy? You, you, you didn't like it. You think the next guy going to like it? 